This video will cover the installation and configuration of the HouseLogix Honeywell Integration Module Security Adapter, or HHIM for short. Some preliminary programming is required for most panels in order for the HHIM to integrate. If you are unfamiliar with programming the security panel, please refer to the Programmer's Guide or contact your security professional. Since the HHIM acts as a keypad, you must assign it a keypad address in the panel. Before making any physical connections to your security panel, it is recommended that you contact the monitoring company and put the system in test mode. Once complete, disconnect the power adapter and backup battery from the alarm system. Begin by connecting the security wire to the alarm panel's keypad bus following the standard color and wiring scheme. Remove the top cover of the HHIM. There you will find a four screw terminal block with the associated terminals. Data out, yellow, data in, green, 12 volt, red, and ground, black. Connect the appropriate color wire to the appropriate terminal, tighten the terminal blocks, and verify the wires are secure. Now, return power to the alarm panel and connect the battery backup. When power is connected, to the integration module, you should have a blinking green LED indicating that the unit is receiving a message from the panel. Attach the top half of the HHIM's cover and plug directly into your controller's serial port. Once you have saved the driver to your My Documents Control 4 Drivers directory, start Composer Pro and connect to your project. Next, we need to add the integration module driver to the project. It can be found under Search Local Database, Device Type Security System, Manufacturer HouseLogix Inc., Name HouseLogix Honeywell Integration Module. Once the driver has been added to the project, switch to the Connections tab and bind the RS-232 port to the matching Control 4 interface. Next, switch back to the System Design tab. The driver will read the Current Adapter setting and update the Properties tab. From here, you can modify any of the HHIM settings. The keypad address can now be assigned to the appropriate address required by the security panel. Now change the number of zones. Input the highest number of zones you would like to monitor, even if they are not all used. Next, input the total number of relays to activate on the security panel. After all your initial settings have been completed, go to the Connections tab. In order to get all the connections for zones and relays to show, click off the driver and back on. Now you can complete all your bindings. Finally, we will demonstrate arming and disarming the system just by clicking on the driver. For more information on the HHIM and other devices, go to houselogics.com.